For our last video in Scratch programming on the Hummingbird board, we'll run you through some quick troubleshooting steps for issues you might encounter along the way. In this video, we'll cover what to do if your Hummingbird blocks do not load, for Mac users how to disable AppNap, and how to reset the Scratch interface. In order to have access to your Hummingbird blocks, the Hummingbird board must be connected. If you open Scratch and your Hummingbird blocks do not work, make sure you check the Hummingbird light located here. If the light is yellow, then your Hummingbird board has no connection to the computer. Check to make sure the USB cord provided in your kit is connected on both ends. If the light is red, the BirdBrain robot server is either not running or frozen. Try reopening the BirdBrain robot server. If the light is green, your board is connected and you should have full use of your Hummingbird blocks. If the Hummingbird is connected and the blocks are not appearing in Scratch, try hitting Open Scratch at least two more times. Leave Scratch open while you make those attempts. If that does not work, another solution is to manually load your Hummingbird blocks. Head to the Hummingbird website under Scratch 2.0 software and download and unzip the file located here. Now head back to Scratch 2.0. Hold down the Shift key and click File. Now select Import Experimental HTTP Extension. In the Extension folder, select Hummingbird.s2e. Your Hummingbird block should be back in place. Now let's move on to disabling AppNap for our Mac users. If AppNap is left on, it can slow the actions in your programs and sensor readings could experience delays. In order for the BirdBrain server and Scratch to work correctly using Mac OS 10.9 or later, you'll need to follow these steps. On your keyboard, press Control and click on the BirdBrain robot server application. Once you have opened this window, select Get Info and the Info window should appear. In the Info window, check the box next to Prevent AppNap. This should help any loading and connection issues with Scratch 2.0 and the BirdBrain robot server while using a Mac. Lastly, for general issues, let's cover how to perform a general reset. Unless Scratch 2.0 has totally crashed, you never have any reasons to close Scratch once it's open on your computer. Start by closing your BirdBrain robot server. Then, manually unplug your Hummingbird board from your computer. Also, unplug motor power if it's plugged in. After a few seconds, plug your board back into your computer using the USB cord from your kit. If you are using Mac or Linux, the board must always be plugged in prior to opening the server. Now reopen the BirdBrain robot server. By keeping Scratch open during the reset, you won't lose any of the work from the program you were building. And that covers basic troubleshooting and wraps up this playlist on Scratch 2.0 and the Hummingbird board. For more tutorials on programming with BirdBrain technologies, check out our YouTube channel and websites.